and welcome to a further XKP tutorial. Sit back and watch and we will tell you about the opportunities of the line monitor. Here you will find a quick overview of all processes all around your XKP. The XKP line monitor provides a quick overview of the installation and configuration, as well as a protocol of all calls with detailed information, so that you can optimize the system by yourself. A click on report allows a fast view of all important information. Details about the XKP and tools installed on the system. XKP system data and overview about the used operating system, installed network hardware, configuration data, call statistics, General view of XKP events. License data. Following the complete installation, the XKP line monitor starts automatically recording calls and changes to the system. The size of the log files is limited to 10 MB in order to prevent that the hard disk will be filled unnecessarily, especially for systems with a longer runtime. You can make changes to the configuration dialog, which can be found under System. The update rate of the statistics can be set as required. By default, High speed rate of 1 second is set. Call statistics, which are no longer required, can be deleted by using the button Delete Call History. By default, the deletion of the oldest log file entries is supposed when the set memory limit is reached. You will find the path of the saved log entries here. The XCopy Line Monitor consists of two applications. The application XMON Service Exe will be installed as an additional service and records all actions of the XKP after installation. The file XMONITOR Exe, which is also accessible from the start menu under XKP Line Monitor, displays all information clearly. The start screen gives you a quick overview of the most important XKP system and connection data. The installed XKP version, the last start of the XKP, information about the installed network hardware. The active calls monitor shows you with graphical support the number of active calls divided by outgoing incoming and total calls. You will also find a short overview of all calls made previously under call statistics. So you can see immediately how many calls have been successful or failed so far. These statistics can be exported to a text file and use for archival purposes easily with the export function. A detailed overview of all previously made calls you will get under Call History. The Call History shows the details of existing voice and fax numbers, including the source and the destination number, and when calls have not worked. 
in fax transmissions, the speed and the number of pages are locked. The protocol for voice calls can be exported and saved as a CSV file for statistical purposes. So you have the possibility to create an overview of all. From XCAPI version 3.5, the functions of the call history have been provided for you with a new filter function and thus individual selection options. The filter function ensures a better overview and facilitates individual selections without having to look through a mass of data flood. For example, you can only select fax calls that have packet losses. Based on the connection data, you may find whether the packet losses occur at fixed times and thus meet with other network and system events or the packet losses occur irregularly. In the display packets, the first value is the total number of transmitted packets. As discarded, unused packets are counted that have been received too late, for example. As loss states are counted where expected packages have not been received. Furthermore, you have also the possibility to assess the development of the connection speeds of fax transmissions and to observe the successful implementation of V34. By default, you can use the following filter functions. All calls of the last week, all failed calls for any reason, all failed calls during the current month. In addition, you can create custom filters that include certain connection results, phone numbers or date including time specifications. Active calls provides you an overview of real-time active connections. The current status of the call is displayed as accurately as possible. Especially for fax transmissions, there are more details about the fax call, such as training phase or information whether soft fax or T38 is used. The display jitter shows the fluctuations in the data transmission of the current call. The first value is the jitter in the current interval. The second value is the average jitter over the previous duration of the connection. And the third value is the highest recorded jitter. The current and the maximum jitter are selective values and show whether short-term jitter incidents occur. If the average value is high, a permanent cause is likely. The usage of snapshots within VMware is a common cause. On this subject, we have published a corresponding tech note in our community. With a double click on the respective active call, extended properties will be opened with a graphical analysis of the RTP data. Packet loss and jitter can be observed as interval and cumulative statistics. Under Events, you may have a look at all incidents surrounding your XCAPI. For example, restarts of the XCAPI driver or actions of the XCAPI tools are recorded. Events which impair the functionality of the XCAPI are marked with a different color. Special improvements can be made easily. In our example, there were no more licenses to process the call. Upon request, events can be exported as a text file. If the XCAPI configuration is changed, the old configuration is saved as a registry backup in a text file before the new configuration becomes active. Also, 
The event log and incoming and outgoing calls will be saved as text files. You can find these text files under C, Program Data, TE Systems, XCAPI. The path of the event text file can be found in the configuration of the line monitor under Events. Here you can adjust and manage the maximum file size and deletion. By default, the deletion of the oldest log file entries is supposed when the set memory limit is reached. The same can be managed for the text file of the incoming and outgoing calls. Data about the used operating system, the XCAPI release number and the installed XCAPI tool release number can be found under the menu item System. If a data file is missing, it is indicated in red. We have reached the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for joining us. Visit us on our homepage.